Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> That's right, Rick James. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. What's going on to all my movie fans out there? And welcome back to the channel. We are here today to talk about the one, the only, Cocaine Bear, which is coming to theaters this weekend. I got a chance to check it out last night, and I actually attended the first time ever a Alamo Draft House experience, which is a fun experience. And speaking of experiences, your boy has experienced a bear on cocaine, and we're here to talk about it. And I'm going to let you all know if it's worth checking out in theaters, all in this spoiler free review. But before we get into it, let's start the conversation conversation in the comment section. Let me know if Cocaine Bear was a film you all were excited to check out. And of course, once you've seen it, let's talk about it. Did you have a good laugh? Did you enjoy the horror elements? What worked? What didn't work? And if you were to pick an animal out there to be high on cocaine, like Cocaine Bear, which animal would that be? And would you like to see it in the film? Let's talk about that in the comment section. And of course, if you enjoyed my review today, consider hitting that thumbs up. Consider hitting that share button. With all that being said, let's start off by talking about the director, Elizabeth Banks, who, when I heard about this project coming out and I heard it was loosely based on true events, I said to myself, wait, this is coming from the same director from the director of Pitch Perfect 2 and Charlie's Angels? I was surprised to see her name, but then I remembered to myself, wait, Elizabeth Banks has been in some of my favorite comedies in her career, and she's also been a part of some B-level horror films in her own right in the past, whether it was James Gunn Slither or bright burn and she applies a lot of those elements into this project and when it comes to what she created in this film she made a pretty solid b movie this is easily her best film to date and when it comes to this film when it's clicking on all cylinders it is ridiculously a fun gory time and truly shines when it's leaning into the absurdity into this situation and playing into the horror tropes which also brings me to speaking of the horror tropes this film is a straight up up, Crystal Lake Friday the 13th during the daytime horror slasher film with a coked out bear going on a killing spree and that element alone was my favorite part of this entire film. I can't express enough how genuinely impressed and surprised by how much carnage is in this movie because nowadays when it comes to mainstream horror there tends to be this trend to kind of cut away from the violence leave it up to the audience imagination but Elizabeth Banks truly leans into the blood, the gore. She shows the limbs being torn apart, the heads being bitten into, the guts coming out. I'm telling y'all, I did not expect that element from the film. And being that I am a horror fan, I loved every bit of it. And getting into the kill count, which was surprisingly high, some of my favorite kills in this film involves being stuck in a tree, the ambulance chase sequence, and I'll just say, baby cubs so i was just very surprised by the gore how far elizabeth leaned into that and i remember an article a few years ago i think it was 2019 where her name was brought up and being a part of the invisible woman which was going to be a part of the universal monsterverse which never came to be and even then i'm like elizabeth banks in horror but i can confidently say after seeing this film I would like to see Elizabeth Banks direct another horror film because I was that impressed by what she was able to accomplish with that element of this horror comedy, which we'll talk about the comedy a little bit later. But moving on to some other elements here, as far as performance and cast, I thought they were pretty solid across the board for the most part. I definitely would say I cared for some characters more than others. For example, O'Shea Jackson Jr., who's one of the drug dealers trying to retrieve the drugs in the woods. And I really actually enjoyed his chemistry they had with Olden. Gotta bring up, rest in peace to the late, great Ray Lee Leona, who passed away last year, who was one of my favorite actors, and I believe this is one of his last performances before he passed away, and he's not in the film a lot, but when he is on screen, I enjoyed his presence, and he is a part of one of my favorite scenes. You also have Isaiah Whitlock Jr., who I had a good time with, and I am a fan of the young talent that's in this film, too, with Brooklyn and Christian. So again, the cast is pretty solid, but we gotta talk about the star of this film. I'm talking about the coked-out CGI bear who I will say right off the bat, the CGI was pretty clean for most of the film. But again, y'all, you come to see the bear and it does not disappoint. I won't reveal if it's a he or a she. You got to see the film to find out. But that bear stole every single scene it was in. And I came for the bear and it did not disappoint. But some other things I want to talk about before we get into my criticisms. Is it me or nowadays the films feel like they're just way too long or sometimes way too short? But this film comes in at a perfect hour and 30 minutes. It's in, it's out. It doesn't overwhelcome its Day. And also, I think my audience had a pretty good time with this film. And to me, it knows what it wants to be at 
points, which brings me into my criticisms. This is, like I mentioned, a horror comedy, and it's about 90% comedy, and I'm going to be honest with you all, comedy is very subjective, we know that, but the comedy to me just wasn't my cup of tea. Now, I'm not going to lie, I chuckled a couple times based on the situational awareness of these characters, but a lot of the times, the jokes just felt like they ran a little bit too long for my taste, and it started to feel like I was watching an extended SNL skit at points. I think for me, the comedy would have probably worked a little bit better if they would have switched up some of the pairings because there's like four or five different groups running around in this film and I think if we would have had certain actors paired with other actors the comedy would have landed a little bit better for my personal taste again comedy's very subjective and the comedy to me just didn't land but like I said before it is self-aware of its tropes especially in the horror genre but sometimes it almost was just too aware of itself at points and it felt like it was a parody of itself and I just wished it leaned more into the horror thriller bits more so than it did with the comedy because tonally speaking I feel like it was a little bit inconsistent in my personal opinion which also brings me to one big complaint that I have with the Transformer movies and the Godzilla films and the King Kong movies where I always talk about it and a lot of you all have the same sentiment too much human story just too many humans in this film when it comes to those movies but I wouldn't lean too far into that element of what I complain about those films but I will say when it pertains to Cocaine Bear the film didn't have enough of its real star which was the bear and every time we didn't have the bear the non-bear scenes the film suffered to me it didn't keep my interest it didn't have the same level of entertainment so again I'm not saying this as far as I didn't like these humans because I enjoyed these actors and it isn't as egregious as the Transformers and Godzilla films as far as what they try to do with the humans but I just felt like whenever the bear wasn't on screen the film just wasn't hidden for me personally and like I had mentioned earlier this is loosely based on true events and when you read what actually happened this film would have been like 10 minutes long so there's a lot of making up stuff in this movie and I felt like the plot at times a little bit overstuffed and not every storyline was necessary in this movie and one last point when it comes to the third act of this film I felt like it was a little bit too prolonged and I just kept thinking just like the drug in this title it started off on a very fast pace it was super energetic and but eventually it ran out of steam and by the end I feel like the come down hit hard and it slowly kind of lost its edge as the film was kind of going on so those are my main pros those are my main cons before I give you all my score and let you know if I think it's worth checking out if you stuck around to this point in the review I appreciate you just a reminder to like the video share the video consider subscribing to the channel overall I have no doubt that this film will probably end up being a good candidate for a cult film for many and when at its best it's a simple film about a bear who does cocaine people are brutally murdered and I think some people will absolutely love this film and then there will be others like me who thought it was just okay but I think it had a lot of potential and I wish it leaned more into the horror bit so after walking on the film I'm like ah this is like a two a 2.5 maybe at its best but then I was thinking about it a little bit more I really enjoyed the horror bit so I'm gonna go ahead and give for my personal taste because again I didn't like the comedy and it's a lot of comedy in this film I'm gonna give cocaine bear a 2.8 out of 5 and I'm certain that folks will love this film it's going to probably be some people's favorite movie of the year and that's perfectly fine I'm probably going to be in the minority when it comes to this film but that's cool go in see the film on your own kind of judgment and kind of based it on your preference on comedy and of course horror so with that said y'all I think it's going to find its audience it didn't entirely land with me but I gotta say the horror bits really worked and I walked out of this film saying listen Elizabeth Banks when you do another film can we make it horror can we lean more into the horror so that's my thoughts on cocaine bear again i'm giving it a 2.8 out of 5 but again judge it for yourself and when you do let's talk about it in the comments what worked what didn't work did you enjoy the comedy did you enjoy the horror let's have those conversations in the comments section thank you all for watching today's review i hope you enjoyed it if you did just a further reminder before you all bounce to like share comment and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell that way you can stay up to date with all my content keep an eye out for my creed 3 review that's probably on the channel as we speak you all have been awesome hope you're staying safe come and join the community check out my most recent content check out my other reviews for this year and we'll catch you all on the next video